welcome back. This is the first in a series of Trappist beer reviews. And the first one is a Belgian Trappist beer from Achel, the brewery Achel. I can't, there's a big long word and I can't, I can't, I won't even attempt to, to pronounce it. But the beer is a shell. Uh, I'll put the, the name in here and the translation or the sound record. Trappist Achel Acht Bruin. So, it's just a simple label. It's got the authentic Trappist uh, logo on it. It's the, the, the Trappist Achel Brun, the brown ale. And it's 8% ABV. So, oh yeah. Let's crack it open. Or should we read the label first? That might be an idea. I had a look to see if I could find the, the chalice. No. Just, they're as rare as hen's teeth. So I've got the, just, I'm just using a, a shimmy chalice. I've got a couple of, loads of chalices. So anyway, the, it's beer, Brun, Brun beer, authentic Trappist product. It's a 33 centimetre bottle. Uh, it's in Dutch and French, so or Flemish maybe. So there's no English writing on it at all. So, best before 12, 10, 2022. I did read these will keep up after about two years, they're not too great. They can deteriorate, but this is well within its date. Just a plain metal cap. Let's see if it pours brown, I would think. This is a bottle condition beer. So it's brown on the floor. The floor looks lighter than what's pouring in the glass. It looks a lovely deep mahogany brown. It's bottle condition, so I'm just going to get the the yeast, etc. A bit of extra flavour there. So we'll see what it looks like. Well, it's a lovely nutty brown colour. Totally opaque. Can't even see the outline of my hand through it. Uh, about a finger of just off white, light tan, mousse like foam. A lot of malty smells. This has been out of the fridge for about an hour, I think. Might have been too long out of the fridge, I don't know. Anyway, cheers my dears. If you get a moustache, that's a good sign. Oh well. It's quite it's more carbonated than I was expecting. Maybe because it's too warm now, I don't know. But it's it's very rich and fruity. Like vine fruits. But I'm getting a bit of like licorice there as well and treacle, molasses. And there's a quite a tingle on the tongue as well. Don't I don't usually experience that but wow. Let's break it down with using the craft the sheet the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. I haven't left me much myself much room here with my new flags my salt tyre Scotland flag this is these are just my wee chalkboards a shell brewing 8% beer and this is my wee Belgian flag not all Trappist beers are Belgian by the way there's even an American one uh, Spencer's I think I've got one from England Tint Meadow I've got 12 beers from I think maybe 6 or 7 Trappist breweries 
The reason they're called Trappist beers is because they're made or supervised by Benedictine monks. So it started in, it was started off by La Trappe, I think. I'll put some information in the description. So we'll do the wee colour test. Don't know how useful this will be. Oh yeah, you can see that. It's like a muddy, nutty brown. Of course, I poured the, the lees in. Is it lees and beer or is that wine? I don't know. Correct me in the comments. So it's a beautiful, yeah, I would say muddy, nutty brown. River water, but dark river water. It's beautiful. I'm going to say this is, I don't know, maybe a, a, between a 20 and a 30. It's nearer 30 than the 20. Clarity is totally opaque. I'll say hazy because it is hazy. Uh, the colour of foam head retention is good. The foam texture is mush like. That's still retained that. It's beautiful, thick, creamy head. Visual carbonation, none. Well, I can't see any. The aroma alcohol is noticeable. Hops, nothing. Yeah, the malts. Um, well, I'm seeing hops. I'm not getting in. It is fruity, but is that yeast or phenols? I don't think it's hops that causes that. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm just learning. This is the first time I've had uh, this beer. So this is a journey of discovery. And Trevor from Legit Brew Reviews, hi Trev, is starting a series of Belgian Trappist beers as well. Is it Trappist and Belgian or just Trappist? So I look forward to seeing that. Yeah, so the malts, it's it's caramel. It's it's definitely fruity. Toasty. Am I getting any coffee for that? I don't know. There's there's a lot going on there, but it's, it's beyond me. The esters, you know, it might be that that is fig, like a plum and raisin, those rich typey fruits. The phenols, am I getting vanilla there? Let me see. I'm not getting any spices. I thought maybe there would be clove or something, but there's no. So I'll just say vanilla for that. The alcohol is noticeable. The hop flavour. Well, I don't think it is the hops that's giving it the flavour. I mean, I'll put fruity, but I don't know. Hop bitterness, restrained. Yeah, the malt flavour, it's caramel and pruny. Utterly delicious. Caramel pruny, roasty. You know, I think I'm getting coffee. It might just be my in my imagination. The malt sweetness, I'm going to say it's medium. Low to medium. There is a certain sweetness there. Palate sweetness is low. The body is soft. Palate carbonation. Is medium. It is more carbonated than I expected. Uh, the length finish is long. The balance and drinkability desirable style appropriate. This is an absolute cracker. We're going to have a look on Untapped to see what they see. So. 
the founder is Achel Ach Brun 8. It's made by Browery der St. Benedictus Abdich de Achel Seclus. My apologies. It's made in, uh, it's a microbrewery in Flanders in Belgium. Vlandering. So it's 8% ABV, it's a double, which is a strong brown ale. It's 24 IBU, there is a slight bitterness, but nothing. Uh, three French check-ins, with an average of 3.75, which is fair. Everyone else is 48,000, with an average of 3.69. So it's a Belgian double, Achels or Achel, regular du Dubel double, which is available in 33 cent label. Descriptors are dark, sweet, smooth, malty, light. Yep. Well, it's dark in colour. It has got a sweetness. It's smooth. It is malty, light. Do they mean the body? That's delicious. It's not light bodied. I think it's quite full bodied. So I, I don't know what they mean by the light. Maybe they mean easy drinking. I don't know. But this, if the rest of the Abbey, the Trappist beers are like this, oh yeah, fantastic. This is an absolute beauty. It looks beautiful. Smells delicious, toffee and maltiness, and tastes absolutely divine. Thanks for watching. This is Christmas Day, by the way. I'm on my own on Christmas Day. I'm, I'm not looking for pity votes or sympathy, but <laughs> I've had a quite a good day enjoying my beers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Oh yeah, that's lovely that.